Hi everyone, it's Coach Christine and happy September. So with fall just all around the corner, I wanted to take a, an opportunity to introduce some of my favorite fall foods. First thing on our menu for this month is going to be jalapeno cornbread. This is great if you're camping in the backyard or getting away for a cool night at the coast. So we will take this step by step, but before I show you all of the ingredients and we get started, I want you to go turn your oven on, you're gonna heat it to 450, and I want you to grease your baking dish or a cast iron skillet and put it in there. This is gonna be really critical for having those crispy, crumbly, delicious, yummy edges on the outside of the cornbread. So start there, and then I'll meet you back here in just a minute to take you step by step on the ingredients and how to make this cornbread from scratch. All right, my campfire friends, let's make this. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get some cornmeal, um, your eggs, your milk, baking soda, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vegetable oil, vegetable oil and salt. We're gonna be doing this as a vegan version, um, mostly vegan. I am gonna add a little bit of real cheese in because, well, I just want to. And, but you can use a vegan cheese for this. Outside of that, this is 100% uh, plant-based ingredients. So we basically put it all into a bowl, mix it until there's no cornmeal clumps, put it into the oven, and cornbread is as easy as that. So what you will need is a cup and a half of cornmeal. So I literally just grabbed a baggie of it, measured out, put it in, pretty simple. So we're gonna add the cornmeal to the bowl, and then to that, you're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. And we're just gonna use a slotted spoon to mix these together as we're getting going. You're going to add a little bit of salt. You wanna add your baking powder. And I'm just gonna to continue to stir so this all sifts together with all of my dry ingredients first. From there, I want to go ahead and add my egg in. Now I'm using a flax egg, so if you're using regular eggs, you're going to use two large eggs. If you're using a flax egg, you'll do it same proportions. In order to make a flax egg, you take one tablespoon of flax meal or take your flax seed and just grind it up. So each egg is one tablespoon of flax meal to two and a half tablespoons of water. You let it sit for five minutes and it creates this kind of gooey binder. And that's all that the egg is for this recipe, is a binder, it doesn't add a whole lot of the flavor. So the flax eggs are a great substitute to throw into this. So we'll add our two flax eggs. And then you're going to add one cup of milk to this mixture. I'm using an unsweetened almond milk. And just mix it together. You're also welcome to use a hand mixer if that's a little bit easier, but to save on noise and the ease of recording today, we're just gonna use a spoon. You also will need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. So let's go ahead and pour that in. And so easy, seriously, it's already coming together. Now, you've got milk, you've got cornmeal, you've got sugar, you've got eggs, salt, and baking soda. That's gonna be the foundation for your cornbread. You can stop there. Well, who wants to stop there? I mean, if you've ever been in a hammer household, you know that we don't just do cornbread. We do cornbread. So we um, have been growing jalapenos all summer and I have an abundance. So Josh, amazingly enough, took the liberty of chopping me a bunch of them. Your batter, before I add the extras, is going to look just like this. Good old fashioned cornbread batter. Exactly what you want it to be. Okay, now, once upon a time ago, we lived in Arizona and there was this restaurant called Z Tejas and as one of the appetizers, like restaurants will normally bring you bread out, but they bring a cast iron skillet of this cornbread. Every table gets one, it's absolutely outstanding. And this is how I first discovered I needed to start juicing up my cornbread. So there, they always added in the whole, whole kernel corn. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say every week. Whole kernel corn, bam, I did it. Okay, so they put it in this cast iron skillet and they add the corn and they have a little bit of cheese and it's got these crusted edges and they do it with this honey butter. Oh my God, that is one way to do it. So we've sort of played around with all of our recipes and our ideas and we're gonna do a, a collaboration of that. So we want whole kernel corn into it. I have about a cup measured in here left over from my frozen corn bag. 
I'm using a nice sweet corn. This is gonna add extra flavor and texture into the cornbread. Then we are going to add in, we chopped up four to five uh, fresh jalapenos. So we're gonna add those into the mixture. Stir it all together. It looks like a party in the bowl right now. I'm pretty excited. And then you could add however much cheese you want. You could, like I said, do a plant-based. There are several um, really good plant-based cheddar cheeses that melt and the flavor is right on point when you're looking for baking. Um, or if you had made breakfast burritos last night, like I did, and added real cheese for those who are dairy eaters, you've got leftover Mexican cheese in the house. So that is what we're gonna be adding to this. Let's grab it out of the fridge. Wherever I left it in the fridge, I found it. Throwing other cheese on the floor. This is why you pull out your ingredients before you film. But hey, we're on filter today. Have at it. So we are going to be putting, there is about a half to three quarters cup of cheese left in here. So we're just gonna add that into the cornbread mix. Dump the rest of the bag. And then stir it all up. And honestly, my friends, it is as easy as that. You have your batter for the cornbread mix, and we are really just about ready to rock and roll. Let's get some of these ingredients out of the way so that you can see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing here. From here, we're going to carefully remove our heated pan from the oven. We're gonna do one more little bit of spray just so this doesn't stick and we'll fill our pan. Make sure you are putting that on a uh, wood surface or something that you're not gonna burn your countertop with a hot pan. Do a little bit of additional spray here just because you can. And we'll grab a spatula to ensure that we have everything out at the end. Pick up the batter, pour it in, I don't know if you could hear that sizzle, but it's already just sizzling ever so slightly from the heat of the pan. And that's exactly what you want because we want those edges to get that crispy, just a little bit crunchy. And then the center is soft and warm and delicious and happy. So we've got that. Let's grab the spatula because you don't want to miss any if you could avoid it. Pour this in. Good enough. And no different than if you're baking a cake, you want the batter even. So I would just take a little pop like that. Also, that pan was hot. Fortunately, not too hot to touch. <laughs> just in case. We're gonna put this back in the oven. We will bake this for 22 to 25 minutes at 450 degrees. We'll check in then putting a toothpick or a knife in as long as it comes out clean. Cornbread's ready to go and you'll be ready to indulge, maybe pair it with some chili or your favorite barbecue dish. All right, stay tuned, we'll see you soon. Well, it's been 25 minutes. This is how it looks so far. We are gonna do the toothpick test and see how it comes out. Pretty clean overall. I think we are ready to cool it. All right, well that is the cornbread dish, so easy. I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for about an hour, bring it to room temperature before I try to cut into it. Unless of course you just want it warm and super warm and gooey and delicious, then eat it now. Otherwise, stay tuned for more comfort foods for the fall. From my kitchen to yours, have a very safe and healthy Labor Day weekend. See you next time guys.